From a penalty kill perspective, uh, what does Presco tell you about what you're going to face tomorrow night and how you can be most effective? Uh, Pre-scout's not all that effective because they kind of wing it uh, over there. Some of their guys, they just go out there and feel it and make it happen, and then they got the top power play in the league again, so it's a big challenge, obviously. Best case scenario is you don't take any penalties. It's not always 100% realistic, but that'll be the goal, and if hopefully you give them only one or two cracks at you, they don't get too set up, too adjusted, because if they get three or four, Stats say they're going to score at least one, so it's a big tough, big how challenge. Much, how much of your appreciation of the skill set did you get in, in the time you were able to play there uh, into mid-June? Yeah, I mean, you know, they have that one ability similar to what we have here, which is you know, you know, that ability to score goals. It's not too easy for most most people, uh, most teams, although it seems like a lot more, you, more of these young players can shoot the puck at a different level, but for the most part, if you can have three, four, five of those guys on a team that can put the puck in the net on a consistent basis, it makes a huge difference for you. It can save you games when you're not as good defensively as you'd want to be or rough on the penalty kill. You can outscore sometimes and uh, certainly helps in the long run. You know, teams ebb and flow throughout the year. Is this the most confident you feel like this group is right now? I don't know about that. You know, we didn't have a great game the other night. I don't know if we're coming out of the rink doing the cartwheels after that one. We won, but our goaltender was certainly our best player by far. Um, so, no, not at this point. And I guess with this new equipment, too, do you guys, uh, are you an equipment junkie? Like, do you, no. do you need to work it in? No, don't care. <laughs> How far has Nikita come back from missing 17 games to get back into the flow at this level and, and try to get up to where he might have once been? Yeah, it's tough. Always when you're coming back and everyone's kind of been cruising along. We've had a few breaks with the bye week all-star break that might help a little bit, but it's never easy. It's been a while since I had that, a couple of years where I missed uh, six, seven weeks. And uh, it's definitely a challenge to get up to speed that, you know, it's as much as everyone may dislike training camp, you see the large majority of the time players who might miss it, you know, they just have a hard time catching up. It's just, a, you know, getting your legs built up and everything built up. It's just kind of a necessary thing. So middle of the season injury is the same kind of thing. It, it's tough to get back up to speed. And if you're coming off uh, some sort of rather serious injury, it makes it even harder because by the time you get out there, it's probably not 100%. So, uh, you know, he's a good player continuing to work. He'll get there.